Coach Ed Stepanski is with us from the Crestwood Comets, and uh, we're talking about the girls' basketball program. And Coach, uh, let's talk a little bit about your team this year and where you stand here as we're we're into February. Yep. Well, we've uh, we've come a long way. We had a, a kind of a slow start. Um, the girls are really coming together, though. We're, we're playing as a team uh, very well. Uh, we're currently second place in in Division One, Wander Valley Conference, and the second seed in District Two. And um, I don't think we've reached our peak yet. I think we still have some good basketball ahead of us. What What are some things that happened last year, graduation wise, to where you are now, and and, and getting other players involved, uh, and and how deep on the bench you are? Well, we've, we've got a lot of experienced players coming back uh, for, for, from last year. I think we have four returning starters from last year, Sarah Hopkins, Julia Mikowski, uh, Andrea Shifton, and, and uh, Sarah Richards from, from last season. Um, and we got a great mix of new, new, new uh, girls in, the, in there, Bella Termini, uh, Chris Andrews, Riley Mangan. Um, we got a great group. they got a great chemistry. They work hard. Um, they're really hard-working girls. We've got great leadership, too, among the team. Um, our upperclassmen really work hard. They bring a lot uh, of focus to the team. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, we, we're still building. I mean, we've got, we've got a long way to go. Uh, but they're doing well. Very proud of them. Let's talk about some teams that you've played this year and uh, how you fared and, and who some of the top-heavy teams are in the league. Well, obviously, in uh, in our division, Division One, it's tough. I mean, we have Kid Dallas, who we dropped our fir- very first league game to. Um, we also play Pittston. They're tough. They're playing well right now. Uh, we won a, a big game against them this past week. Um, and then, uh, of course, Hazelton, our rival. Uh, they're in first place right now by one game. And then our crossovers. There's such a, a you know, Nanny Coke, uh, Wyoming area. Uh, Holy Redeemer. Um, there's no easy teams on that schedule, and uh, we've really we've had some ups and downs. We dropped one to Lake Lehman, who's actually an up and coming team. They're a bunch of sophomores and juniors, and uh, the surprising thing is how well they've played. They beat uh, Dallas. They beat Pittston. Uh, they beat Hazelton early in the season. They beat us. Um, they're actually a pretty decent team. So, you know, we've we've uh, kind of changed how we're playing in in those different teams. Uh, we have a big lineup. We have a small, fast lineup. Uh, we like to put pressure and, and push the ball. Um, but it really depends who we're playing. I mean, Wyoming area is basically guards when they lost uh, Orzel to an injury. Uh, Charlton for Dallas, they're basically a guard team without her in the mix. So we kind of change how we play and adjust. But we get a lot of different things from a lot of different girls. You know, they all bring something to the, to the team that's unique. Um, um, and what's really nice is we're starting to get some scoring from around the team. We had, I think, eight girls in the scorebook yesterday, which is really great. Um, but we do rely on our upperclassmen. Uh, we we uh, lean on them heavily, uh, especially Julia and Sarah for scoring. Coach, let's talk about the fun that you're having with these young ladies and, and as far as you know, them getting after it, being competitive, uh, you know, laughing off the court. Um, I'm sure there's times on the court where, you know, you, you have a chuckle or two, but then they know when to punch the clock. Yeah, it, well, it's funny. They are a fun bunch, and uh, they do a lot of laughing. They do a lot of uh, uh, fun stuff at practice, but they also are focused. You know, when it comes down time to do the work, and they know that, you know, in the end of the season, we have four league games to go this so far left in the season, and, uh, you know, they know when it's time to work, but they're not beyond having a good time. And uh, they're a free-spirited bunch, which makes it a lot of fun because it's a long season, four, four months together. Um, after that much time, you start getting sick of each other, getting sick of the coaches. You're in the gym, you know, every day but one day a week. So you really kind of, you, you've got to break up that with some, with some humor and with some fun, with some joking. Um, and they do a good job of that. They keep it a lot of fun. And, and, and part of that fun is being successful. Um, you know, it's difficult when you're losing. I've been part of those teams, uh, but they're a great bunch. They just, uh, you know, such a good group of girls. Um, they really, I think, respect each other and respect their coaches, and it makes it fun. I mean, it makes it fun to be in the gym. Well, Coach, uh, we appreciate your time and uh, continued success. The playoffs right Thank around you. the corner. Thank you very much. Isabella Termini with us from the Crestwood girls basketball team here on the John Mandola Show. And, uh, Isabella, let's talk about your role on the team. 
So I play center and forward because I am one of the tallest girls on our team. So I'm in charge of defending the six foot tall post players that are around our conference. You also play a couple other sports. Yes, I am um, a star in my soccer, on my soccer team and I played soccer for a long time too. I also do track and field and last year I picked up the javelin. Not something that anybody could pick up. The javelin is a lot of technical things to it, but uh, that's a great accomplishment for you. You were involved with, boy, uh, let's see, one, two, I don't know. I've stopped counting how many clubs and organizations <laughs> you're with at Crestwood. So you're quite busy. Tell yes. us about them. Um, so I tend to keep myself busy um, being involved in my key club and my student government and also around my church and outside with my club soccer and basketball teams. Well, you are certainly well-rounded and big news today for you. Yeah, so today I found out I am ranked number one in my class and that was really exciting. Well, congratulations, Thank that you. is awesome. A little bit of pressure <laughs> with that. A little bit. Uh, and you're, you're probably normally doing homework right now. Oh my gosh, yeah. But, but you're doing some, uh, <laughs> some interviews, which is great. Let's talk about your siblings and, and so, how, how they're you know, important to you and what they've taught you in your life. Yeah, so I have two older sisters, Gabrielle and Olivia, who are both college soccer athletes. Um, Gabrielle's a senior at Westchester and Olivia's a junior at Dickinson. And they've always been my role models and people I could look up to in all aspects of my life, in school, in sports, in family. And it's just nice to have such good role models in my life. Mom and dad have done a heck of a job yes. and obviously, uh, good blessings your way mm -hmm. with all the, 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 the smarts and the athletic ability. <laughs> Talk about uh, their role in your life. I owe everything that I've accomplished in my life to my parents. They've always given me the opportunity to pursue whatever I wanted to do, given a countless hours to take me to soccer tournaments in Philly and New York and to drive me wherever I needed and to give me whatever I needed to succeed. Pharmacy yes. uh, down the road for you. Mm -hmm. Talk about why. Um, I decided this year um, I'm actually a lab assistant at my school and I've always been interested in like science and math and I was thinking what can I use my abilities to help benefit and I looked at pharmacy and there's a lot of good programs around um, here especially at Wilkes or out in Pittsburgh and I was thinking I could probably use that to my advantage. Well Isabella you're ranked number one in your class you're involved in a lot of sports and organizations. You're doing some great stuff in Thank your community. You. Um, keep up the good work. Thank you. Andrea Shipton joining us from Crestwood here on the John and Dola Show. And uh, Andrea, uh, let's talk about your role on the on the team and, and what coach expects of you. Yep, I'm one of the taller girls, so I'm there to take like the jump ball and to get lots of rebounds, play D on the bigger girls. I'm not too much of a scorer, but I like to do assists and help out any way that I can. What do you like about your team? Um, about our team? Um, we're really close. We're definitely, I've been playing with some of these girls for a long time. And um, we, we've got some girls that are really driven and work really hard, so it's nice to have that. You uh, do track, the pole vault? Yes, I do. I picked up pole vaulting in seventh grade, and it's been so much fun. I'd be a little bit of a daredevil for that. So, where did that come from? Um, I don't know, honestly. Let's talk about uh, some clubs that you're involved with there at school, and you're involved with a, a bunch. Yeah, I'm the secretary of my key club. Um, I've, I'm part of a pole vaulting club in Allentown, and I'm also in the youth group at my church. Well-rounded. Matthew and Sarah, a couple siblings, tell us about each of them. Yep, I'm really close to my sister. She's 10 years old, and she does a lot of the sports that I play. We're pretty close. And then my brother has, he's, a big part of the competitive drive in me. He's also a pole vaulter, so we compete in that way and different athletic stuff. You're ranked number two in your class, so you're doing a great job uh, there. Talk about uh, being driven in the academic end. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of hard work between coming to basketball games, having to do homework on the bus and stuff like that, but I've just always been driven and like to do the best that I can. History and English, a couple subjects you enjoy? Yes, I'm actually interested in studying law once I go to college, so I really love both of those subjects. And you seem like you know where that's going to be, so tell us about that next step for you. <laughs> yes, I'm going to attend Hamilton College in New York, and I'm going to pole ball on the track team. Well, that's great to hear, and uh, what was it about Hamilton that you said, okay, this is the right place for me? 
I like how it's small, um, so you get really close with professors and other students and stuff. And I like where it is. It's in like central New York, surrounded by like fields and stuff. So I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, it's neat. Mom and dad uh, and their role in your life. Yeah, they've always been huge role models of mine. They both they both did track when they were in high school. They always pushed me ath athletically, academically, stuff like that. All right. Well, uh, thanks for your time, Andrea, and good luck at Hamilton Hamilton College. Thank you. Sarah Hopkins joins us from the Crestwood Lady Comets basketball team and. Uh, Sarah, let's talk about uh, how much fun you're having this year. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun this year. The the whole team's a, the, it's just a fun group. Uh, we have a lot of fun together. We have a lot of laughs. And overall, you talk about your career at Crestwood, whether it's a student or athletics, uh, as far as how you're feeling right now about that next level, because it is your senior year. It's all going to be over pretty soon. Uh, talk about some memories you've had. Um, I've had a lot of fun memories. I mean, I've been playing on the varsity team since I was a freshman. Me and Julia and Andrea have been playing together for a really long time. And uh, I think we're all going to do really well at the next level. Let's talk about life after high school. Uh, you, have, you throw some darts and say, these are the five schools I want to go to. Do you have any ideas right now? Yeah, I'm looking to stay local. So I'm looking at Kings and Wilkes right now. I'm looking to play basketball there. All right, cool. How about a major at the next level? Um, I'm thinking of second and secondary education, so becoming a high school teacher and teaching math. All right, and uh, what is it about math that, that you love? Is it the fact that it comes easy to you, or, is, or you know, some people say they like the, the black and white definite part of math? Yeah, um, I like math. I think it's fun. I've had some really good math teachers in the past, and they've, they've taught me well, and I, I really enjoy it. All right, let's talk a little bit about your mom and dad and what they do for you. Uh, they do a lot for me, like driving me everywhere when I didn't have my license the first few years. Um, they've been there to support me throughout my 10 years, more than 10 years of playing basketball. It's really nice to have them there. A couple older siblings, what's their influence on your life? Um, yeah, my older brother Donnie, he's a senior at King's right now. He's, uh, he's influenced me in a lot of ways. He's really nice. He's always there to support me. And my older brother, Robbie, he's a sophomore at Penn State Hazleton. He plays basketball there, and he's always there to push me and try my best. Well, the playoffs will be interesting. They're uh, a few weeks away, Sarah. Uh, good luck with Crestwood. Thank you. Julia Mikowski joining us from the Crestwood girls basketball team here on the John Mandola Show. And Julia, let's talk about your role on the team. Uh, what does Coach expect of you? Um, I am the highest scorer on the team, so I do take a very large role on the team with scoring. He expects a lot out of me, but it's been pretty hard this year with most teams keying on me, but I've been trying to work through that. Let's talk about some of the other players on the floor that uh, are supporting you and the, and the starters. Yeah, everybody, all the starters support me, but Sarah especially, she's always looking for me. We've played together since we were little, so... We really get each other and know where we are on the court at all times. Well, there's some good competition. Coach went down that list. It's just a lot of good teams in the Wild yeah, Valley it Conference. Yeah, really is. Every game we can't take lightly. What's it like uh, playing some of them as far as I'm sure you, you grew up playing them, maybe 7th, 8th, ninth grade, and yeah. here you are, you're still playing them years later. But uh, what teams do you enjoy going against? I mean, Hazleton's our rival, so that's always a fun game. Pittston's always good. I mean, every game really is good this year because they're all close. Let's talk about the, some team bonding, gingerbread house party. Yeah, that was the first, like this year was the first year we did it. It was a lot of fun we did it at my house, so it was fun. All right, sounds pretty cool. You got an older uh, brother, Alex. Tell us about him. I mean, he goes to Temple. We're pretty close. I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. How about his major? He business. Okay. Yes. And bio and chem for you. Uh, was it about those subjects you enjoy? Um, both of the teachers in those classes I like a lot. They were both good teachers. I liked them, and I did very well, so I liked it. How about the next step for you with your senior year? Do you hone in yet on what you want to do yet? Yeah, I'm actually playing next year at Arcadia University, and I'm going to major in some sort of business and eventually go to law school. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Mom and Dad, uh, tell us about each of them and how they inspire you. They're just always there for me. They're so proud of me, and... I don't know. I just love them a lot. They're always there for me. As far as uh, the, the future for you after college and what you want to do, are you thinking back to northeastern Pennsylvania, get away from the area? No, not back. I would like to be a lawyer in some big city somewhere. All right. Yeah. 
we'll uh, hope you reach your goals and you. uh, good luck. Thank you. Helena Jardine joining us from Crestwood here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Helena, you're a freshman. So what's it like been playing varsity sports? I just go in there and try to do my best for as long as I'm in there. And talk about uh, how the girls have accepted you onto the team. Um, I'm friends with all of them. I, they all accepted me very fast. And you play volleyball and lacrosse. So yeah. we'll talk about what you enjoy about both of those sports. Well, uh, my second year of volleyball, I'm already on the varsity team. I'm playing very hard in that. And it also helps with my height. And lacrosse, uh, that's my second year too, and I'm doing well in that. Got a, a twin sister and a twin brother. So yeah. what's life with the twins like? Um, they're getting to the age where like I'm getting closer to them and it's kind of nice. Yeah. Everybody's playing nice, so to speak, in the family. Cause, <laughs> you know, you get some of those brother-sister things going through the years. You're right. It, uh, it's a nice time right now. You're doing real well in the classroom. Talk about your dedication as a student. Yeah. Um, I just go home, do my homework, I study, I just put in all my work. How about mom and dad and their role with you and, and pushing you along, academics, athletics? My mom and dad come to all of my sports, they support me all the time. How about playing Hazleton, what's it like to, to play against them? Um, that's going to be a big game Thursday, I'm just going to go in and try my best. Well, we wish you well and uh, good luck and congratulations on being a varsity member in ninth grade. Thank you. Riley Megan is with us from Crestwood here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking girls basketball. It's your junior year. So talk about uh, what you enjoy about your team. Oh, I love my team. Going to practice every day and in the games, I always have a lot of fun. Everyone's very supportive and everyone really gets along. I know that's trouble for some of the other teams, but we really, even during the games when we're in the heat of the moment, we're always there for each other. How about, very nice. How about your skill set? What do you bring um, to the team? A defensive player? defense, okay. yeah. Mostly defense. I'm not one of the top scorers, but when I get on the court, I try my hardest to play hard on defense and try and get steals or try and like guard like good players so they don't have as many points. And uh, talk about pushing each other as a group. Um, there's a lot of talented players at Crestwood. Oh, yeah. Well, playing time, everybody's pushing each other, but mm -hmm. it makes the team better in the end. No, in the end, like I think everyone's main goal is to win. And I don't think playing time like I mean yeah it's an important thing but like like for me I'd rather win a game than play most of the game and I always want to encourage my teammates like on the bench and I'll cheer them on and like even if they're having a bad game make sure they're in a good mood so like they play well let's talk about Ryan and Brennan oh <laughs> Ryan's my older brother and he attends Temple University um, he's majoring in uh, business he's majoring in business and then my younger brother Brennan he's a freshman and He's a jokester. <laughs> He's a jokester. That's good. Brothers. Uh, typical. Yeah. Ninth grade brother. Yeah. <laughs> biology. Uh, what oh, do you enjoy about that? Um, in my biology class this year, we're learning about like how the body works, like the heart and the lungs, and like the like ears and the eyes. And I just find it like very fascinating. And I want to go into like nursing, and I like learning more about like the human body and working with people. Let's talk about the uh, mom and pop and uh, what they're up to uh -huh. and pushing you along. They're both very supportive. My dad mostly, he loves basketball, he loves it. And he supports me every day, every game. He always asks me how practice went. And he always gives me my, what I did good in the game, what I did bad in the game, what I should work on. And then my mom's just there to support me through it. <laughs> uh, sounds very typical. Oh yeah. Um, junior class treasurer, um, that's yeah. a, a great accomplishment. And uh, you're carrying a 4.2 grade point average. So talk about your dedication there and being involved um, with um, your school. I, I, my school is very important to me. I always try hard for my grades. And then going for, this was my first year doing the class treasurer. And I find it very fun because I'm working for, mo like I'm trying to help out with proms and stuff. And like, just like what the kids in my grade would like at proms and like for like pep rallies and stuff. Well, Riley, we appreciate your time and good luck this the rest of this year. Thank you.